Good morning, good evening, good afternoon everybody, welcome back to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I'm having a lot of fun playing this game, and hopefully you're having a lot of fun watching it. Geralt is looking pretty damn slick, and we're now going to talk to the Chamberlain. Hey! Black suits the gentleman. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? Yeah, I suppose so. It's alright. A studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the North and South. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Um, yeah, confirm away. Confirm away. Please watch. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. That's a weird way to bow, but okay. Oh god, I've got to remember stuff. <laughs> um, okay, left leg forward, left leg back. It was left leg forward. Um... And then right hand on chest. Yes, it was out. Hmm. Lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. You're very rude, you know. I didn't have to come here. I didn't really want to come here. I the thought I would hear the Emperor, the Emperor out. Only when asked to, and using the appropriate yes, title. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Well, okay then, I suppose I have to. We'll just get through this without any conflict. <laughs> we'll do as we're told for now. Even though we don't like it. <laughs> as he said, when in Nilfgaard. Daifen Aden in Karn eb Marvut. Emir Bar Emreis. Bow. Um, 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 yeah, just keep it civil and bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer et do orde. Avelian Namen, vat gun favort. I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla. She's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. Why me? Or oh, she's back. You sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure you're not high or Sorry. something? Left. Went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yennefer will do that after the audience. So why me? How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless, if for no other reason than because I shall pay you more than you customarily receive for a contract. 
considerably more. Mm. Only doing this for Siri, not you. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me. Only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meredith! Take him to the sorceress. He's a bit of a kick kiss ass, that old guy. <laughs> I mean, this guy, this emperor, doesn't seem very nice. I don't know why he'd kiss his ass and lick his boots, but whatever. I don't need to put up with it for too long. I'm out of here as soon as I can. Are these actual guys, or... No, they're not. <laughs> it was a stupid question, I know, but I had to ask it. It's just past noon. Really? What an outrage! Ah! This is pretty nice. Oh, look at this. The lighting in this game is just amazing. Brilliant. Can we speed up a bit, mate? Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go! I have no time for walking. I have Witcher things to do. Okay, he's not going to speed up at all. Let's we'll take a nice stroll. He was right, though. Geralt does look good in black. <laughs> Suits his hair, you see, the white and black combination. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Okay, then. Thank you. Oh, yes. No load screen. <laughs> Gets me excited every time. Yeah, look at the lighting. Look how the fireplace glows, and you can see the shadows from where the grills are. It's just brilliant. Oh, no, I didn't want that. Jennifer, hello. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Emir's court? Uh -huh. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. So they're agents now. So they're our agents now? My, my. You've clearly settled in quick. Geralt, don't twist my words. I know who Emir is. He started this war and its bloodshed. He had my friends killed. But I haven't any other choice. So please, let's not belabor the pros and cons and instead focus on finding Ciri. All right? Right. Emir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe, before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. What does the Wild Hunt want from Ciri, exactly? Wild Hunt. What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... I prefer not to think about it, really. Okay, so where's she been seen? Let's do this thing. So where's I'm all game. Seen, exactly. In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. 
You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Okay, before we part, why didn't you contact me earlier? One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Damn. I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, alright? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Well, okay then. Which two references, everyone? I know what they're talking about there. I did go back and have a look at um, what, this means we need to how the game ended. Game. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roamed the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting. Roger, that is done. Let's do this. Retrieve your equipment. That would be a good idea, actually. So, was that a little hint from Geralt that we could customise our armour later? <laughs> to make it black. Booyah! Hello there, good sir. Give me my stuff back now. How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Mm. Thanks, bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound. As soon as possible. Yeah. Mention something of the sort. So long. Hi, douchebag. I mean, bootlicker. Anyway, right, we've got to travel to Velen. And I'm going to put my awesome. No, not that button. I'm going to put my good stuff back on. As it's a million times better. Get my crossbow going. Um. Put my swords back on. Perfect. Okay, I'm actually going to end the episode here. It's a bit of a shorter episode today. But we end in... No, not that button. We end in just the right spot. We're about to travel to Velen. And see if we can find any information on where Ciri's gone. So that dream was all about Ciri. Well, yeah, it was clearly all about Ciri. But how can I word it better? Ciri was in danger. That's what Gerald was getting at right at the start. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. It helps me out a bunch. And until next time, I shall say, Good bye.